evaluate the expression log base 2 of 16 plus 10 log base 4 of 1 divided by log of 1,000 minus 10 log of the base 4 of 4. Okay, two things we're going to do in our approach. The first is I want to attack this one term at a time. The way we're going to do that is just take each term, we're going to call it a name, and then I'm going to take that expression and we'll use our dictionary for logarithm and exponents to unravel, to solve for each term. So let's start with the first term just to see what I mean by this. So I'm going to take our log base 2 of 16, we'll call that x. Now, the dictionary we use is, the way I think of this, this is log base on the answer returns the exponent. So remember that, logarithm takes some numbers, returns exponents. The way I rewrite that is, base to the exponent equals answer. So the idea is gonna be, you may not recognize your answer written like this, but you probably will when you write it like this. So for instance, log base two of 16 equal to x, well, our base is two, our exponent's x, so this just says two to the x equals 16. 16 is two to the four, so I have two to the x equals two to the four, so my exponents have to be equal, meaning x equals four. Next, let's set log of the base four of one equal to y. Now, you might remember an identity that says, if I put one into logarithm for any base, zero comes out. Well, let's just check by rewriting. So here we'll have four to the y is equal to one. The only way I can get a one come out is if I put four to the zero power. Okay, if I take any positive number, the only way you're gonna get a one is if you use exponent zero. So y is equal to zero. Now, log of 1,000, we'll call this z. We're not told what the base is, so that's gonna mean that our log here is to the base 10. So if you're not given your base, it's implicit that your base 10. Here, we rewrite, that's gonna give me 10 to the z equals 1,000. 1,000 is 10 cubed, so I'll have z equals three. Then finally, we're gonna have log to the base four, four, let that be equal to u. Again, there's an identity that says, if I take log of a base to the base itself, that's gonna give me one. Let's rewrite and see that. So here, I'm gonna have four to the u is equal to four. Okay, four by itself is just four to the one. So we're gonna have u is equal to one. And that agrees with what you would get if you had that identity. Now we can finish. So I'm gonna have my quotient, 4 plus 0 over 3 minus 2 times 1, so we're going to wind up getting a 4.